Hi, this is Andy with IDLH Technology, going through tips and tricks and how to set up the tactical worksheet portal, the digital. All right, so after you sign up on the IDLH Technology store and you um, purchase the product, which the first seven days can be a trial, you're going to need to register for the tactical worksheet digital porter. So you come to this page. The link is going to be in your email that you'll receive. Click register. And remember, you only have to do this one time. So as you go through, you'll just set up with um, uh, whatever email address that you would like. I'm going to use one that I use all the time for testing. Username could be any username that you would like. And of course, your password. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to choose my own. Make it real simple. We'll confirm it. All right, and then you're going to register. All right, so now that you've registered, you're going to get an email verification that's going to be sent to that email address. All right, so at this point, you're going to go over to your emails. Put that up, click on the link. All right, now you are registered. I can just go through and use the uh, username that you set up. And then of course your password. And then I would suggest down here, clicking on the keep me logged in. Um, that'll always keep you logged in so you don't ever have to log out, it's really nice. And then click log in. All right, so now you've gotten into your portal. The portal is gonna have the IDLH digital tactical worksheet. And then you're also, I'm going to put in the cheat sheet. So you'll see the cheat sheet in here as well. But anything that we add um, can be put inside here. So remember, this is the first time. So you click on the tactical worksheet, and this is the digital. All right. So now that you've gotten into the digital tactical worksheet, I'm going to go through on how to use this. So we start at the top. Um, at the very top, on the left hand side, you're using an Apple Pencil. Make sure you're in the view. And you can come over to the left if you want. You can click on different tabs. I don't like having that set up. I like clicking the next box. And how I like to set this up is page by page and a single page. That should already be defaulted for you. Now, where it says 88%, for me, I like to have it to where it fits the page. And that's pretty much all that you need to set there on that side. Uh, moving over to the right hand side, the really nice thing about the digital tactical worksheet is, this, is that this can be used even when you don't have internet connection. Well, how you would do that is come over to the right hand side and you click on this floppy disk, click on that, and now what it's doing is downloading this to the browser. All right, and so that way you can be in offline mode. Next thing that you're going to want to do. And that's just refreshing it. Next thing you're going to want to do is save this for, to your desktop. Um, I'm on an iPad Pro. So you click at the top, see this box with the arrow, click on that. And now at this point, what you want to do is hit Add to Home Screen. And then you can name it whatever you want. Add to Home Screen. All right, so now you can see here it is right here. I can click on it. Whether I have internet connection or not, it doesn't matter. It's always here. All right. So now at the very top, you notice we have the view, annotate, shapes, and measures. You're going to be using the view and annotate most of the time. So right now we're in the view. Again, I'm using an iPad Pro with the pencil. At this point, we can go to the tactical worksheet. And you notice how it jumps to the tactical worksheet. And on the right-hand side, you're going to have your different tabs. All right. All you'd have to do is just click on those tabs. You can move all the way through. Um, this one even has put in a blank, so you're able to write anything that you need. The junior, um, the bonus about having the digital technical worksheet is you also get the junior, and then you also get the 
very highly requested the PIO tactical worksheet. Um, and this one is just being able to help with your PIO or even if the incident commander that shows up on scene able to talk the talk of the fire department, but also be able to help the media make sense of what you're saying and put it in terms that's understand by both. All right, so we'll go back up. I'll click on the structure down at the bottom left. At any time that you want to be able to get back to the main screen, you can just click on that. All right. All right. Now that we're over at the digital tactical worksheet, we already went to the tactical worksheet. We can click on active threat in MCI. And again, this will go through your digital tactical worksheet for your active threat. So here's the overview. Here's for your transport. Rescue group supervisor. These just got all of the hints. Ambulance exchange point, casualty collection point, your staging, and notes. And again, you can click on the left hand side, the tactical worksheet, go back to the main screen. All right, so I'm going to click on tactical worksheet, and now I'm going to show you how we're able to draw in here. So we've been at the top and using view. Now we can use annotate. So you notice you've got a new toolbar that has come up. Um, you have it done lots of different choices. Since I'm using a pencil, um, and you know how the um, IDLH environment changes very rapidly, I like to be able to just draw and write. All right, so at this point, I can click on this pencil. And then you can come over here, and you can choose what color that you want. I like to use red. I'll keep the opacity 100%. And now you can move your stroke. This is how wide you want it to be. And everybody's got their own choice. I'll usually keep it right around three. And then you can just write inside the box. All right. All right, so let's say at this point, I decided I made a mistake. You come over to the eraser, click on that real quick. And you notice how it just erases. All right, that's one way you can erase. Another way you can erase is you can let's do engine two. We'll put that back in there. Let's say I want to go backwards, so I can just hit the arrow back, and that erased it right away. All right. Now, if I want to switch between annotate and view quickly, obviously you would just click back. But now I got the annotate. All right. The other way that I can erase is let's say we've got a large incident and we're going to go over to Mayday and I've got a bunch of writing that goes over here. All right, let's go over to blank. Let's say, you know, I wrote, wrote stuff on here. Whoops, see how I made a line when I drew it across. I can just quickly hit the back. Um, but let's just come over here. I'm just going to make marks on each one of these pages. We'll go to brush. Let's say we'll put in more, right? All right. I can erase either by just this page. Are you sure you want to delete all the annotation on just this page? I can hit yes. All right. Now, if I go and look at the blank, it's still going to be there, right? Structure is going to be there. But let's say I'm starting over with a brand new incident, and I want to make sure I cleared everything. So I can hit this right here, and this will remove all. Hit yes. All right, so that, that's how you're going through and being able to annotate. And, of course, you can do other things on here, such as you can type if you would like. You can highlight. I can make notes. Um, but these are just the ones that I use quite a, just a few is the pencil. All right, the other thing that I suggest is anytime you get an incident going, at the, if you're on an iPad Pro, is to record your screen. Um, recording your screen is how I'm doing this recording and I'm also doing audio as well so this makes for really nice going back for your incident reports you're going to get the radio traffic that's going to come over and then also um, anyone that might be in the car with you or anywhere you might be with command and you'll be able to have a good uh, reference for your infers or just for your after action so how are you going to record the screen is let's see if I can do this since I'm already doing it, but pull down from the top right all right you see this button right here that's record if I click on that, we're going to stop right now. But you push that button and hold on it. 
and then it's going to pop up with your microphone on. Click that, start, and then it's going to count down. All right, let's go back to our main page over here. All right, so this is our main page. Again, you can click on the right hand side. And then down at the bottom left to go back. All right, this is Andy with IDLH Technology going over the digital tactile worksheet. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.